In 2019, a woman named Danielle Monero, a radio personality on Elvis Stern in the Morning Show, received the key to the city of Bergen County, New Jersey. What a great idea for the segment. So another member of the show who happens to have, share the same name as my evaluator was sent by Elvis from New York to Bergen County to see what perks they could get with the key to the city. Most importantly, can they get free bagels? I'll let you know that at the end of my speech. Great. Now that I have your attention, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, that segment got me thinking, what do I have to do to get a key to this city? What would I have to do to receive such a high honor? Before that, actually, in case any of you were wondering, my title is a reference to one of the Harry Potter books. But now I will tell you about how I earned the most important key to my life and then tell you how it relates to my Toastmasters journey to how the, how is my, my Toastmaster journey. When I first heard that segment, I was married for less than a year at that point. While it wasn't a key to the city, I earned a key to my home. Actually, instead of a physical key, we have a passcode to get into our house, which I find more convenient. And while I didn't receive any honors for service to my city, I think I received a better honor. Love and appreciation from the person I'm married to, as well as enough trust from the person I love who chose to share his life and home with me. I take care of the kids. I teach them how to be kind people. I keep the house clean and organized and stocked with groceries, manage our social calendars. And most recently, I became an interior designer, as you all may know. Being loved and appreciated by the person you choose to marry is more valuable than being loved by a million other people around the country. I also pride myself on what I do for my community. I help take care of others by making meals for families with new babies. I run a program for women at, in our community at our synagogue, and I'm on the Yom HaShoah committee, which is Holocaust Remembrance Day, uh, which is a very important day on our Jewish calendar. So the lesson I learned is that while I think it would be so cool to be as influential as Danielle Monero and to receive a key to our city, I'm perfectly happy having an impact on my own family and community and just having the key to my house. So in terms of how this relates to my Toastmasters journey, I initially joined for social reasons. However, attending meetings has become more than simply a social atmosphere. The more I went to meetings, the more I learned interesting facts. One is about the actual Silver Spring in our city. Turns out our city is not just a pretty name. There's a meaning behind it. As I said, there is an actual Silver Spring. I've learned about electronics, history, gardening, baking, personal finances, and where to take the best vacations. I'm also inspired by the speeches you all give. I love hearing about the important family members who have shaped your lives. I also enjoy getting to know, to know you all from your speeches and table topics responses. You all come from such different backgrounds from each other and it's fascinating to hear about your experiences. I also use what I've learned from speech writing and applied it to writing speeches and presentations in graduate school. In fact, a former classmate asked me after my master's presentation, if he asked me if I went to Toastmasters. I did, and it showed. I'm proud to say I got an A for that presentation. Thank you all for your help. I also recall the speech I gave, the impact, uh, the, yeah, the pitfalls of social media and the impact it had on a teenager who was visiting Mark Club and who said to me, she thanked me for giving that speech because she herself was experiencing some low self-esteem because of what she saw on social media and was reminded that not everything we see is real. So that was, I think, I was very proud of myself for that having that impact on someone. Another great thing I've achieved from Toastmasters is leadership. I've served as co-sergeant at arms, VPE, president and secretary twice. On point with the speech title, I once received a literal key to the building where we hold our physical meetings so I could open the door and start setting up before the meeting. That is a big responsibility and I appreciate you all for trusting me with that. So in conclusion, no. Elvis Duran and his crew learned they couldn't get free bagels. In fact, the takeaway message from the other Greg on the, the show was that there were no perks for having a key to the city. He said, throw the key in the trash because it's actually useless. It's simply a token of appreciation and honor for service to the city. 
Now, I'm not advocating you all throw your keys, throw out your house keys. I don't want you to be stuck outside your homes. I'm simply suggesting that we all have our journeys in life and ways we contribute to society. Some people contribute on larger national scales, while others like me contribute privately in their homes or communities. As you know, as you may know now, I would prefer quiet recognition. To be honored in such a public way would be a lot of pressure. Also, those radio people have to get up way too early. I like to sleep in. Either way, catch your key or the passcode, which is more convenient, that is meant for you and your journey. Thank you all.